Hmm, I wonder what time it is. Let me just check on my space black stainless steel Apple Watch. I know that's torture for some of you who are waiting, but I want to welcome you to this Man Cave Technology review of specifically this watch. So I'm going to have another video, I'll link in the description where I talk all about the technology and give the good, the bad, and the ugly because this just applies to every Apple Watch, but I wanted to make a video specifically detailing every detail of this watch. And we're not going to do it in some kind of like sissy, low profile way. We're going to do it in a manly way because we are in the man cave and this guy is going to make it all happen. So here we go. Okay, so I've got the watch set up over here, and I've also got a couple of other bands that I have to go with it that we're going to look at, and you may be like, why in the world would you want to put that on there? Well, it's actually, I've got some reasoning, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. So let's dive right into the details. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at just the color of the watch. You can see here that it really is a black watch, and I'll kind of compare it to... Uh, this lens hood for this Canon lens and you'll see that yes all blacks are going to reflect light and look different but that really is uh, what I would consider black. I had seen some photos earlier that concerned me uh, from Apple where they kind of maybe had changed the color and people were concerned about it. Here's it up against a uh, Ellicraft KX3 uh, ham radio. And that is, the, the radio is super, super black. And you can tell that really um, this is pretty much black. So, so that's definitely good. That had been a concern of mine. And I'm definitely glad that this truly is black. So let's start uh, diving into some other things. So one of the first things that people want to know is really how do you get this thing on and off? And we've been told that there are buttons back there. And it really is true. They are very, very tiny. And basically what you do is you hold down the button and you kind of slide. Now on this particular band, uh, because it's metal, I have found that it is best to put it on and put it off by uh, going ahead and doing, doing both kind of at the same time. So now we can see that button a little bit. Basically you press the button and you slide and I'm pulling that off. Oh, someone's on Periscope. And I'm pulling this off and now we have the watch with no band. So let's take a look at the, at, at the link first. So this truly is pretty remarkable. Um, so basically, you'll notice that uh, coming from each side, you have the top piece, and then these pieces cannot be removed. They are kind of permanently affixed in there. But each of these pieces that have this little button, they can be removed. And so you can tell over here, I've left all the original in place, and over here, I have removed two to make it work right for my wrist. And I have pretty big wrist, um, so I was actually surprised that I needed to tighten it up just a little bit uh, to make it work. So let's kind of look at how this works, because um, this is kind of a, an interesting thing. So basically, to remove a link, what you do is you press this button and it comes out. Now, I can try for the life of me to press and I just can't do it. My wife can do it. I have found success using, this is a little plastic uh, spudger tool from my Fix It, using one of these to actually press down the button while I pull on the link. And so, there I was able to, to disconnect it. And you'll see part of what they talk about, about all the little pieces that are involved in this because it actually is quite a little mechanism in order to uh, in order to work. And basically on the side here you have tiny uh, little teeth that are going to grip into there and you can rearrange these links and then basically you just press on it and it snaps back into place and then you're good to go. Now, one of the things that I really like is Apple sent me this little guy, which was just a little pouch. It's just a, a nice gesture. Uh, but basically, it is a place where you can store any extra links. And I know some people are needing uh, more links, and some people have extra links. And uh, here's just my two links. I have them hooked together, uh, and then I put them in that pouch. 
and I guess that way if my wrist grows I'll have them or maybe I'll try to sell them uh, if someone's needing some extra links. But right now I have them in this nice little pouch that Apple gave me and basically uh, that does the trick and I'm just kind of keeping it here in the man cave tucked away in a, in a drawer. So now let's look at the actual watch. Some people have complained about there being a plasticky look uh, with the glass, but I don't really see that. Um, that doesn't seem to, to be an issue. It definitely is black. And one of the things that I noticed, and this seems to have gone away, I know there were some problems with other models with people turning the digital crown. There seemed to be some type of something that was on the crown that for, for about the first few days that I was turning it, and I would turn it, it's, it wasn't that the crown was doing something weird, it was that I could just feel uh, something weird going on with it. It's really hard to describe, but it was just kind of one of those things that, that you just go, okay, that's not like right, but it kind of just fixed itself after a couple of days. But this is, is definitely completely coated. Um, your ports over here are much more difficult to see on this model than on, on the stainless steel that isn't black or the aluminum. Um, so you've got the different holes here for uh, microphone and speaker and that kind of thing. And then the back, of course, is black as well. And uh, just a very beautiful uh, watch. It, it really does truly look good. Now, one of the things that I was interested in doing was trying it with a few different things. I really liked this leather uh, band. So I'm gonna put this leather band on, which will kind of show you how it works and also we can see the watch with the leather band. So basically you have this little guy right here and you just wanna start pushing it in and as you do, uh, it will slowly make its way in and you'll actually kind of feel a little ka-chunk when it hits that button. And now this is securely stationed in there. So I'll take the other side of the band and on these, you basically can tell they have a size on the back. So that's how you know what to put where. And same kind of deal. Basically, I'm gonna line this up. What's interesting about the leather band is uh, you do have some rigidity in there, but it pretty much feels like it's just the whole edge is leather. And you put this on now now you notice it just slipped past and that's happened to me sometimes see i put it on and it slipped past the button so there it clicked and it's on so sometimes that doesn't quite uh work how you would expect but for the most part it seems to do it now why in the world would i put a the leather band on this watch well i'll tell you why if you have ever typed on a keyboard on a or not on a keyboard but just on a on a laptop this part is going to bang against there, and I do a lot of that. And so uh, when I'm working at a laptop or something like that, I really like this watch because it has nothing on the other side to hit anything. When I put on this particular band, basically you just put it on through there, you pull it tight where you want it, and then it's gonna just basically secure itself. Now it's kind of being a little lazy there, but there you go. Now, nothing is hitting the computer, but this is what this particular watch, this, the Space Black Stainless Steel, looks like with a black leather band, which I really actually like that. I think it's a great look. It makes for a great extra band. Obviously, this is just really, really nice, and this is, this is where the gold's at, but if you want to also have something a little more casual, uh, you know, you could do this. And to be honest with you, I probably would have taken it with this band if it had come with this band. Not to put down the space still, space, space black stainless steel, because that's amazing, but that's just kind of the reality there. Okay, so let's take a look at the white band. Now, why in the world would I want a white band? So why in the world would I want a white band? Well, I thought, you know, I wouldn't mind having a band that it doesn't matter if it gets nasty or, um, you know, if, if things happen to it. And so that's why I decided to also pick up one of these. So same kind of deal as the other. Basically, you're gonna get it in there, slide it in. I did a terrible job because I was looking at the, uh, at the camera, but you put it in there, slide it in, it locks in place. We'll do the other side here. I'll put it in there, I'll slide it in. It's gonna lock in place. And then we've all seen videos of putting this, this on. It's kind of hard to, to do with, uh, but basically you put that on, tuck it in, 
And here's what this watch looks like with the white band. I think it's kind of cool. It, uh, it gives it a little bit of a look. I'm not really a guy to be wearing a white band, but you know what? Some of you may think it's loserish. Some of you may think it's cool. I'm going to go with it, okay? So there you go. There's the white band. So the next question is, how does this thing hold up in a torture test? Imagine if I took this, this hammer and this screwdriver to it. You would think I was insane, because I would be insane. So I'm not going to do that. But uh, basically, so far, here, yeah, you know what? I think anyone who tears up a beautiful Apple product right after it comes out when people are still waiting for it is an idiot. So I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, but it is fun to think about. Boom, boom, boom. I do have Apple Care, so I don't think they would cover it if I made a YouTube video smashing it on purpose, which I would not do because this is this is my baby. But um, so far, I have used it in daily use. I've accidentally rubbed up against some things. I've banged against some things, and it is in great condition. Nothing has shown up. Nothing has happened. It is absolutely really amazing. It's the nicest watch I have ever owned. And uh, that's about it for explaining in detail this black space black stainless steel Apple watch. So I'm going to make another video where I go in detail about the Apple watch and the things that I like and don't like and all of that. So make sure that you check that below. It'll be in the description, a link down there. And uh, as far as the details on this specific watch, there you have it.